All right. So, what? When was the last time you were? I know you say you're single and dating, but yeah. when was the last time you were in a sort of committed relationship? I'll say two years ago. Yeah. And I've been I've been out the game now for five years and Sheesh. a long time, bro. Five years, a long, long time. distance or not all the time, long distance. Not all the time, right? long distance. Okay. Uh, she was living here with me for a year, um, and she that was during the time you know she's currently in a career transition. That was during the time of like you know online schooling, so she was able to be here while I was in Abu Dhabi. It was a great time. It was the first time we spent so much time together consecutively like that. Yeah, and it was really it was a really good experience for us. Um, I really enjoyed it. Obviously, some bumps along the way, just like any normal situation, because that's when you really get to know somebody. Yeah. But it's not really it was maybe I would have done it under different circumstances because like, you know, all the way from Abu Dhabi, we're away from our parents, you know, like uh, away from our family, away from our comfort zone. We really didn't have a lot of friends while we were out here. We had a few. They ended up flaking off. But yeah. uh, we spent a lot of time together. And that's when I really got to know Lindsay on a different level when okay. I was there. It was really good to have her around. It was really, it was a really positive experience for the both of us. And yeah, but I think starting before that, like the way we met, like everybody wants over, everyone always asks, yeah. us, like, how did you yeah. guys meet? This right? is a, and this is a modern dating era, so everybody's on the apps now. You yeah, know? everybody's on the apps now. Yeah. And I always, I actually, we actually met over DMs on social media, right? Okay. And um, this is the true Goes story. Down in the DM. <laughs> I wasn't, but I wasn't trying to hit on her. Like okay. I wasn't trying to hit on her. She was a real. She's a real estate agent, and um, I wanted some advice on some real estate. And I saw that we, her, me and her, share some mutual friends on IG. And I figured, like, yeah, let me hit her up. Yeah, did she look good? Okay. Yeah, I just scrolled up and down the IG. I was like, <laughs> All right, but whatever. It was, it was just strictly business. Yeah. Um. But long story short, the business. Transaction never consummated, but instead I got a relationship out of it, um, <laughs> and uh, that's what I bar that's what I wasn't bargaining for at the time. Because yeah. I was that was when I was living in London at that point. I was okay. already two years in, and I was having a great time in London as a single mm -hmm. guy. It was really the first time where I had a big boy career. I had some money in my pocket. I had my best friends around, and we we're just running through the city, man. Like just in every sense of the world, going to every club, all the restaurants, meeting different people. You have to understand, like. Me being from New York City, yeah, you don't really you you. It's an international city, but it's not like you get to meet in one place. So you're like an Italian, a French person, a Spanish person, Portuguese, a Czech, right? There's so yeah. many different cultures in just like the areas we were going in, and it was such a great cultural exchange. Okay, and like the joke amongst my friends is like, you know, you go all the way being an expat in London, you come back with a girl from Brooklyn as your girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, that's happened to me too. Yo, but you <laughs> yeah. know what? You know what? It, it, me me dating all those different cultures i realized that you know you know me by now i, mm. I need somebody a little tough right you know what i mean yeah, somebody to yeah. handle me so yeah. i girl from brooklyn dominican my culture perfect fit like she, for under, a long she term. understands, she understands and, yeah. me i don't need to explain stuff yeah. and blah 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 whatever it may be but mm -hmm. yeah just hitting on the note of modern dating we we did meet over the apps right but the people i was meeting i guess an app is instagram wait, so, wait i got a question so you eventually meet in person because she's showing you apartments. Sure, we didn't even get to that level. Oh, it was like, we didn't even get to that level, man. I actually went there. We started talking. I actually know the day because we talk about it. We started talking. Um, we DM'd each other, um, and we was going back and forth. At first, she gave me her number. Yeah. And I didn't realize that she gave me her number. And that towards the end of our DM, because we were going back and forth, I was like, hey, can I get your number so I could talk to you? And she gave it to me again. And then I called her maybe that day or the next day. Yeah. And we spent seven hours on the phone. Oh, talking okay, yeah. so you already when knew it's one of those it was one yeah. of those you gotta snatch yeah, them quick exactly that's it your mind you right bag your legs up <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> bro i remember i was in london i was supposed to go out with my boys that night yeah. and i never ended up going out bro oh, i was just wow. talking, yeah it was one okay. of those man it was one of those i remember yeah, it was on a weekend stimulated intellectually yeah yeah we it was a great back and forth it was the first time in a very long time i connected with somebody like that and especially mm -hmm. when i was just dating casually in london so yeah. i wasn't really like for me, I'm like a sapple sexual. I need, I need, I need that intellectual stimulation from someone, right? Because mm -hmm. I can talk for hours. So yeah. I need somebody that can carry a conversation, that's an active listener, that asks interesting questions. And she was able to provide all three of those things. But at the time, I'm not gonna lie, like I wasn't really looking for anything. Like yeah. I was still, I would, I would have been okay being single, and I would have, I was also open to a relationship because at that point, yeah. I was already two and a half years 
single, right? Yeah. So I you living your best life. You're in I London. Was, I was living a great life making at that money, time. It you was know amazing. What I mean? You're exotic bro. out there. So <laughs> it was great. Like yeah. I, I wouldn't. She knows this. I wouldn't take those times back for anything. I, I would do it the same exact way. Yeah, I did you needed it. that. I yeah. need. I definitely needed that. Uh, mm -hmm. I definitely needed that. Um, but then, yeah, like you know, like next thing you know, I'm I'm in New York in February, and we're meeting each other for the first time. She was, you know, what's the worst part? And I like I'm gonna. She's probably gonna get mad at me about this, but it's nothing bad. <laughs> yeah. First time I meet her. Granted, we're talking seven hours on the phone, texting all day, active talking. Yeah. She's coming off a flight from DR, so I pick her up at the airport. Oh, so damn. Okay. Yeah, going, <laughs> bro. From the drive from the airport to the drive to wherever we were staying. She was, I think she said no more than 10 words. Oh, for real? She, and and y'all have been talking than, and yo, texting. She claims crazy. it's because she just got drunk the night before. She was partying in DR, so she okay. was like hung over and shit yeah. like that. But like, <laughs> I just think that she was just, it was shy. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, wow, I'm getting to meet the person that I've been talking to for like a whole. And granted, this is mm. like the first time she's doing something like this. She doesn't yeah. know I'm a stranger. She's a stranger. Are you nervous at this time? Like, damn. I'm, I was, I bro, I was making this, conversation like, with myself. Uh, <laughs> I was talking to myself. I was answering my own questions in the yeah. car. Uh, and I was like, damn, like. Is she one of those that are about to oop me? Like, yeah. you, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. you know, when you meet somebody in person, you're like, oh, the wow. The personality don't match in person. Like, or it's, what yeah. the hell is going on, man? Yeah. So I'm like, like, okay, is this gonna, is this gonna work or whatever it is? Um, and then we, I had dinner reservations. I forgot what the name of the restaurant was that mm -hmm. night, but you know, it was Contra in the Lower East Side. Okay. One star Michelin restaurant. You should go if you, you should go. It was great vibes. Mm -hmm. That's when she started talking a lot. But at mm -hmm. that point, we had a couple of bottles of Riesling down yeah. and we were chilling <laughs> and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, we had a great time, man. And the the rest, as they say, is history. 